after Pine Valley, the Russians pulled back and tightened their perimeter around Seattle. Unable to mount an attack ourselves, we waited, nursing our wounds and trying to anticipate what would happen next. Not long before Christmas, the Russians made their next move. Several regiments attacked east up into the Cascade Range, and it soon became apparent that their objective was Fort Teller, the headquarters for the Strategic Defense Initiative, or as the public popularly dubbed it, the Star Wars Project. What we knew, and they didn't, was that the project was a bust. If the Russians reached the base, they realized the whole thing was basically a scam, that we had nothing to stop their nuclear missiles from striking our cities and military bases. We couldn't let them figure that out, so we moved east as well, taking the fight into the mountains and trying to delay the Russians while Colonel Wilkins and his people at Fort Teller dug in as hard as they could. <coughs> I suggest we fortify these crossings and then blow up the bridge. Yeah, that should buy Wilkins some time. That won't work, sir. We don't have nearly enough. And men. all you have us do, roll over and die? If Ivan gets to Fort Teller, we'll have a global thermonuclear war in our hands. Hey, it must be a Russian scout. Damn it! We need to get moving. You won't be needed here, Bannon. I'm sending you ten miles northeast on a recon mission. Understood, sir. All right, then. Wilkins is counting on us. Let's get to it. No time to dick around, Parker. Establish defensive positions at those two forts. If Ivan is already there, I want him annihilated. You hear me? If he gets the chance to dig in before we get there, we won't be able to hold back the main force. So, welcome back everyone to the next Try mission. Try to be quick, Parker. The sooner we dig in, the better. Captain Webb is standing by to reinforce you. Now get going. Eagle 6 out. So, we do get a few, um, uh, Colonel, new units. these woods are ideal for infantry. The trees could cover in advance almost all the way to the river. You're right, Captain. Using the woods would help us retain the element of surprise. So, it says... Parker, uh, use those woods as cover <clears throat> for your infantry as you maneuver toward the river. Try to take Ivan by surprise. Anyway, now we do get a few new units. We get some artillery, which is the uh, medium artillery, which is sort of like the mortars from the last mission. We do get snipers. Uh, I have gotten one of those, which is, uh, they're, they're actually really good. And we sh I will show you the mission. Now, it says time left on secondary, which is 11 minutes and uh, 15 seconds. You cannot secure both of these at the same time. As I learned when I tried this mission, what you need to do is just go for the first one over here uh, first. Uh, keep your medium artillery in the back and have him shoot up on this ridge about there, I think. And uh, you'll you'll know why in a little bit. Uh, save your uh, fire support or your tactical aid for later. Uh, we do get arrow recon, which... Um, if we click here, it'll show us all the enemy units that are in that area, which is nice. But we won't need to use that just right yet. See, that sniper is great. <laughs> Jeez. And they're already taking care of some of that infantry force as well. Now, uh, let's get our light tanks together. And this guy, basically, he is just a master at, uh, oh, geez. See, this is why you need to, uh, hit these guys up here, because they will be stationed up there. And, uh, ready to fire on your positions. Alright, now, and more will be coming from this area here. Now, uh, they are securing this area, so I'll show you what the aerial recon does. Basically, it's just to fly over and we get to see all the units. And we're going to, uh, just drop a little bit of our artillery. There we go, and, um, 
probably best if you uh, firebomb the woods where these riflemen are hidden. Alright. Good. Now there's no other enemy that's going to be coming across the fort. They're just going to stay there. So we're going to get our artillery moving already. There we go. Yeah, alright. Get rid of this medium tank as well. Ooh, that was close. Curve everybody back up again. Well done, Parker. Ivan has probably dug in at the other fort by now, so expect some resistance when you get there. Yes, sir. My guys are moving into position now, sir. And my scouts report increased Soviet activity across the river. They're moving fast. We just have to move faster. You know what to do, Parker. Eagle six out. All right, let's get another uh, flyby. Okay. And let's get some tank buster stuff. <laughs> get rid of some of these in place positions so it'll be a little bit easier to Eagle take. six, come in. This is Bannon. Bannon, report. We're two clicks from our final waypoint and engaging a small Soviet advance force. APCs and Jeeps, over. I couldn't care less what you're engaging, Bannon. There's a bridge in that area and I want you to destroy it. Report when you're done. Eagle six out. All right, so Webb will take over the defense of uh, the Ford. Now, I'm assuming it probably works both ways, where you take this one, he'll hold it, and go to the next one. Or if you take this Ford first, he'll hold it while you go take the one over here. I usually just go for the one here first. It's a little bit easier, in my opinion, but that's just me. starting with the repairs. All right, right now we do need to repair our men. I do... I never really considered the snipers when I first played this game, but after a while, they're really useful. You just set them up either in a hidden position in the woods or in a house, and oh my gosh, they are effective against um, any inf enemy infantry that decide to come your way. It's uh, quite amazing, actually, how very useful they are. This is Webb. We're engaging multiple Russian targets at this time. Roger that, Webb. Keep them at bay. Eagle 6 out. Sheridan is moving out quickly. Ah, shoot. And they just employed more defenses Primary as well. That's okay. We got some artillery, but this one you're going to need to uh, take, take care of the troops that you have. Don't worry about Webb. He'll, he can take care of himself. He's a big boy. Yes, that vehicle is disabled. All right, good. And just keep your artillery, uh, artillery anywhere, just sir. pounding wherever you want them to go, <clears throat> or wherever you want them to We're shoot, and they'll do a good job for you. But uh, it's best to, when you take these three sections, leave one infantry in the back, or bring up your artillery to hold here, and make sure you have everybody else. Make sure you have everyone else in these two forward positions, because the enemy will mount a counter-offensive to try and knock you back. Here we go, we're going to slowly advance. Need our support? Yes, sir. Target received. There we go. Get rid of that. This mission isn't too bad. Basically, we're just securing the area so we can hold and defend this bridge right here. That's the main objective. So, not too bad. Excellent! Oh, I'm so glad I just got this mobile mortar. It's great. Alright, five minutes left. Alright, so we're going to leave our... Jeep here. Infantry, Actually, you know what? No, no, no. We're gonna get our artillery up here, so we can have everybody cross at once. Excellent. All right. Go, everybody. Go, 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 go. Use your light tanks to get 
rid of any enemy vehicles. And the uh, tank busters are pretty effective for this mission. Hurry up with those orders. On the double. Reinforcements, but it's not too much. Any tanks and vehicles that come down this way, they're going straight to web, so you don't need to worry about them. Sometimes they'll have a few units coming in this area here, but most likely they'll come from this area here, so just be prepared to be on the defensive for just a bit. Yes, sir. Rolling out. Patching them up, sir. Fit for fight, sir. Infantry it looks we're doing good. We just need to. Rolling. Secure it, and we have 3 minutes and 15 seconds left, so a bit close, but that's okay. Fit for fight, sir. Yeah, here here comes more. And you can also do armor-piercing bullets with the Humvee that will enable you. Another excellent job, Parker. I'm detailing a pair of M60s to you. Don't lose them. They're all we have until Bannon returns. If he returns. Excellent. We got some... Oh, yeah, this is about the tank's armor. It is more stronger in the front when facing the enemy, so don't face away from them, whatever you do. Web here. My men are reinforcing the second crossing now. And, sir, I'm sure Bannon will pull through. That remains to be seen, Captain. Get those guys there and start to pull back. We'll hold the fort, Parker. Move on to your next objective. And now for the final crossing, Parker. The bridge is the prize. Claim it and secure it before Ivan does. All right. So yes, we do have to secure the bridge. Eagle Six, this is Bannon. Sit rep, over. Roger that, Bannon. I gather you didn't accomplish your objective. The bridge has been destroyed, sir. We're moving back now, but we're encountering increased Soviet resistance in the area. We won't be able to hold the crossing forever, Bannon. If you're not here in time, you'll have to find another way around. But sir, the area's crawling with commies! And I couldn't care less, Bannon. Ivan is not getting this bridge because of your incompetence. Eagle Six out. Again, don't worry about uh, Webb. He can take care of his own... Even if everything in that area is destroyed. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> Don't advance on the bridge until you have most of your men uh, with you. The Russians will be coming somewhat in force. Web here. We're under heavy attack at both fours. Understood, Captain. Can you hold? I believe so, Colonel. Some backup would be nice, though. Roger that. I'll see what I can do. Eagle Six out. Get our artillery over here. Infantry, good to go. Make sure you form up your uh, light tanks and get them across the uh, bridge. And make sure you keep your reinforcement points up pretty decently. Don't try to use them on assisting web. You need to use the. You need as many as you can have. Web. How are you holding out? We're still doing good, sir. The Russians are attacking like crazy, but we can hold for a while longer. I am running low on ammo, though. Roger that. I'll get you some supplies. Hang in there. Eagle Six out. All right, so they are attacking over the bridge. Oh, we almost lost all our anti-tank infantry. Get over the bridge now. Rocket misses, we're toast, so let's open up. Engaging hostiles. All right. Push it, sir. Ready, Will, yes. The rest of our men are getting into this. Have we heard from Colonel Wilkins yet? We're moving. 
I spoke to him briefly an hour ago. He told us to meet him at Cascade Falls, the garrison town near Fort Teller. How many men does he have? Two understrength companies is what he told me, Captain. And we have regiments of Soviet troops coming. This won't be an easy fight, Colonel. No, it won't, Captain. It won't. All right. Almost done securing the bridge. Infantry moving. This vehicle is ready. Starting with the repairs. Go and repair those guys quickly. We do have our medium tanks, uh, two free ones, which are really useful. Although they only shoot willy peat shells, unfortunately. They're not, uh, not something else you use for duck. Oh, you know what? Good job, Parker. We'll wait a little while longer. But if Bannon isn't here soon, we'll blow the bridge. Found him. Stupid anti-tank infantry. Hiding in the trees. Alright, now the bridge is secured. Sheridan ready, moving, as ordered. Parker, the weather is getting worse, and the Air Force says they soon won't be able to bring in any more reinforcements. Call in what you can before their planes are grounded. Alright, so we only have a minute before all these reinforcements. We can't call anything else in. Well, I got nothing else. I can't spend any more points. I wish I could. I have 300. Just give me like 200 more and I can get at least an anti uh, sniper. But no, sadly, we got diddly squad. So we're just going to have to do with what we have and make the best. Last call for those reinforcements, Parker. Yes, sir, I know. 15 seconds. Webb is still holding, although it looks like he's losing, but whatever. Not our concern. The bridge is our main concern. Troop carrier waiting for orders. Moving fast, sir. Right, three, two, one, and... I just got off the horn with the Air Force. Their planes are grounded, and that means no more reinforcements. We'll have to make do with what we've got. And Eagle 6 out. You only get artillery as well. Sir. My scouts just reported several Soviet artillery vehicles moving into position across the river. Roger that. They'll be zeroing in on your position, Parker. Send out a strike team to neutralize them. This is where you need this. You need to get most of your tanks, light and medium, to get over there and get rid of these guys ASAP. You could use artillery, but it's just faster to do this way. Plus the... Eagle 6, I have a sit rep. My scouts say the Soviet main force is moving into the area. We need to blow that bridge. Bannon, come in. Where the hell are you? Charlie 6, come in. They could be in combat, sir. And the hills break up the radio transmission. We should give them a little more time. Excellent. Damn it. If I don't hear from them soon, we'll blow the bridge and move on. Good job clearing the artillery, Parker. Now concentrate your forces around the bridge. All right, so... The... We're here. The Russians are coming at us in force. Bring up those Gustavs and we'll show those bastards a thing or two. Alright, so by destroying those, you do get precision artillery. Um, right now, we're just going to save our points for the moment. <clears throat> and just make sure that your vehicles are properly healed up as much as you can have them. And have most, almost... This is Webb. If Bannon doesn't get here soon, we'll have to withdraw. I can't sustain these losses for much longer. Alright, that's pretty good, actually. Precision artillery on the road. Now, I'm going to warn you, this last section of this mission is going to be really crazy with defending the bridge. Enemy units in the target area are destroyed. And they're all going to be coming from this side of the river. Uh, which is why you only need, like, the artillery in the back. Captain Webb, sit rep. Webb here. We're still holding at the fords, but the Russians will break through eventually. Their main force can't be far out now. Understood, Captain. We'll hold the bridge as long as possible, but I won't risk it for Bannon's sake. He'll have to fend for himself if he's late. Sir, we will need his tanks for the upcoming battle. Maybe. If we lose this bridge, there won't be any more battles. 
Yeah, so we're basically defending uh, what was called the Star Wars program. And basically that was the idea was, you. I think it was to have some sort of missile defense space station or, or something like that for destroying incoming missiles. I mean, it, it, it was only ever an idea. We never really got it off the ground during the Reagan era. But the thing, the funny thing was, was that it's just its concept was enough for the Russians to, for the USSR to collapse because they could not fund such a such a project. And uh, it's it's what helped Reagan's plan succeed in outspending them. So, uh, this is why I don't use much artillery for this section. We do get the points back, but pretty fairly quickly. But uh, it you can't really hit much precisely. Either the enemy moves out of your area you're shelling too fast, or your tanks destroy them before the shells come. So, I mean, you could use it maybe on something like this, I guess. I mean, like I said, you're, uh... Oh, shoot. Ah, oh, crap. Doggone it. Well, of course. Such is... Such is life. Doggone it. Of course, I did that right when the main freaking force comes. Go figure. Well, here's where we defend to our utmost. Okay, so, make sure you hold on to your artillery <laughs> for this, <laughs> this part. Doggone it. Yeah, yeah, I know. Basically, casualties aren't too much of a concern. You just have to hold out. We can't delay any longer. They might be dead for all we know. Prepare to blow the bridge and move, Parker. And here comes the cavalry. This is Bannon! Don't blow the bridge yet! We're half a click out and coming up on the rear of several Soviet tanks! Engaging now! Delay that order, Parker. Don't blow the bridge yet. Hold until Charlie Company is across. Alright, and basically Bannon just keeps here right that on. That was in the nick of time, Bannon. Well done. Thank you, sir. Alright, everyone, we're moving on to Cascade Falls. Stay sharp! This thing ain't over yet. Alright. That was that. It's a pretty easy mission if you know what to do. And don't try and separate your forces and take both of the Fords at the same time. There's a reason they give you a 10 minute time. Well, actually, no, it's like a 12 minute time limit. So, uh, let's see here. Officer, professional deployment ribbon, and distinguished service medal. So, yeah. Oh, that was on hard. Back to normal. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next mission.